Deep in the heart of South Texas, Elon Musk's SpaceX is hard at work creating the next generation of space travel. Called Starship, their top of the line, one of a kind spaceship is unlike anything else that's come before it. It's going to be 30 feet in diameter, 180 feet tall, and powered by the trademarked Super Heavy Launch Vehicle which will propel Starship into space with the assistance of 31 Raptor engines. With the Starship and the Super Heavy combined, the craft will be the tallest, heaviest and most powerful space rocket that has ever graced the stars. But the creation is more than just a record breaker. Perhaps the most amazing thing about Starship is the fact that it's totally reusable, unlike the spaceships of yesteryear created by NASA. The ability to reuse the ship is really what sets it apart and will make it much more financially enticing for SpaceX and any other space agencies. To call Starship a modern marvel of engineering would be an understatement. It really does set the bar high for the future of flying through space. Generations of spaceships and prototypes have all led up to this creation. And yet, Elon Musk isn't satisfied with Starship. Even though his company is producing something revolutionary and ahead of its time, Musk is already looking ahead to the next iteration of Starship. In fact, he has recently hinted at the concept of an even bigger Starship model, as well as special variants of the ship that would be capable of point-to-point -point travel on Earth, cargo shipments, and trips to the Moon and Mars. We haven't even been formally introduced to the first version of Starship, so what exactly do these future updates have in store for us? What does Musk and his team have in mind when they think about what comes next for their iconic Starship vehicles? The idea behind Starship is that it's going to be a space vessel capable of transporting cargo and people. The dream is that the Starship will be able to carry about 100 passengers. While trips around the planet would be most likely, Musk envisions Starship as the craft that will take people to Mars. The basic construction and concept of the Starship is so attractive that NASA has tasked SpaceX with creating a few models for them. From passengers to payloads and satellites and cargo, it's all going to be carried with total ease. And that is just a part of the appeal of Starship. Starship is essentially following through on the promise of SpaceX, allowing humans to travel the universe and making life multi-planetary in the process. It's a major step forward, just like the NASA ships of the 60s and 70s. Simply put, Starship has truly changed the game and has made certain aspects of space travel, such as reusability and commercial travel, much more viable. While you would think that the great feats and sides of Starship would be enough, it seems like Musk is already a few steps ahead. In August of 2019, the SpaceX founder cryptically posted, probably 18 meters for next generation system. What exactly does that mean? Musk is suggesting that the later evolutions of Starship will be 18 meters or 60 feet wide. That's a big rocket, which means it will come with more power, more thrust, more capabilities. Imagine what doubling the diameter of the Starship could do. It could hold more passengers and carry more cargo. It could even break more records. But it's not just the diameter of the ship that would also be increased. If Starship 2.0 goes from 9 to 18 meters, its height would likely be greatly altered too. You would have to remember that spacecrafts have to maintain a measured and balanced height to width ratio. Therefore, there's a good chance that this new addition of Musk's Starship could come in at 780 feet tall. This will make the Starship sequel the tallest and widest spaceship ever made. How on earth then would a ship like this be able to get off the ground? It's going to require a lot of power, that's for sure. The Raptor engines that are currently being modded for the first Starship would definitely not be enough to get this behemoth into space. That means that a new generation of Starship would demand a new version of the engine too. If the ship even tried to use modern day Raptor engines, it would need more than 100. That's just not feasible. Even if the craft relied upon the most powerful single chamber rocket engine ever created, the Saturn V's F1, it would still need more than 60. In all likelihood, any new version of Starship will be created alongside new versions of Raptor engines. Anything less just wouldn't be able to handle the mass of Starship 2.0. What would this jaw-dropping juggernaut of a spaceship be capable of? Possibly anything. If 100 passengers are planned for Starship 1.0, you can bet that 200 will be aboard 2.0. Any trips to carry cargo or any sort of items would be faster and more efficient too, saving money for SpaceX or any company that buys or rents a Starship. A Starship that is doubled in size will be able to accommodate more passengers and make them much more comfortable too. As of now, Musk has said the initial Starship will make a journey to Mars or anywhere in space an enjoyable, casual and relaxing experience. Musk has mentioned that the ship will allow access to movies, lectures, restaurants, and of course, zero gravity games. 
If starship size is greatly increased, the amenities on board would likely be as well. Let's be honest, a trip through space probably feels pretty constrictive and possibly claustrophobic. If SpaceX manufactured a large starship, there will be much more space to roam as passengers approach the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. While Musk is already planning on a larger, more powerful Starship, his company is also hard at work on multiple iterations of the vehicle, capable of moving cargo and making travel on Earth even easier. You've heard that right, SpaceX is planning transportation right here on our planet. Codenamed Earth Starship, this version of the craft would put a tremendous strain on airlines because it would aim to move people around the planet at record-breaking speed. How would this work? the Starship would launch for some major metropolitan location, ascend to the atmosphere up above the Earth, traverse across the curvature of the planet, and then descend and land on the complete opposite side of Earth. Because of the nature of this journey, it would take no time at all. Currently, it takes about 21 hours for a commercial airliner to travel from America to Sydney, Australia. But if you're flying on board the Earth Starship, you'd be making that journey in just 50 minutes. That's right, you could fly across the entire span of Earth in less than an hour. The same method would also be used for point-to-point -point shipments too. A company in Asia could transport specific goods and products across the planet within just an hour or two. You can see how almost any industry would benefit from this type of shipping. You can also see how the airline industry would be totally turned on its head if SpaceX started to employ Starship in this process. In fact, there is a chance that SpaceX could put a few airlines out of business especially if they make this sort of travel affordable. However, airlines and businesses could get in on the action too. They would also be able to create contracts with SpaceX and use the technology themselves. Imagine if UPS or any other sort of shipping company got their hands on the power of SpaceX point-to-point -point shipping. Obviously, the plan for this sort of travel with Starship is more than just a few years off. Firstly, SpaceX would be needing to finish making the ship. Secondly, they would need to create launch sites all over the world. But in the meantime, SpaceX isn't done. They are also planning versions of the Starship that are capable of traveling to sought-after interstellar locations. As of now, SpaceX is planning to create a lunar Starship for 2024. This craft is part of a contract deal with NASA for their Artemis program. Artemis will put Americans back on the moon and is the first major collaboration between NASA and commercial and international partners. It is also seen as an important stepping stone to humans landing on Mars. SpaceX and NASA have come together to get people back on the moon, and they will do so using a specifically made lunar model of the Starship. Starship has yet to take its inaugural flight, but it's already turning heads and changing the entire space travel industry. The way that humans take to the stars is being radically transformed by this groundbreaking innovation from SpaceX. Still, it is very obvious that much more is needed to come for Starship. Not only are their models developed for travel to the moon and right here on Earth, but there's also larger, more powerful, and more amazing Starships that are being cultivated by the minds of Musk and his crew. Starship 2.0 will double the size and double the might. Records broken by the first Starship will be shattered again by its successor. It just goes to show that SpaceX isn't slowing down and they certainly aren't resting on their laurels. The only thing more impressive than what they've already created is what they're going to think up next.